Hey YouTube, I am doing a review of this ProMag Archangel or Archangel stock that I got um, on my Savage 110 Tactical. <clears throat> uh, the Savage 110 Tactical did come with a uh, fully bed blocked, uh, fully block bedded stock and it was fine. Um, I was just looking for something with a little more adjustability and uh, the ProMag for the Savage 110, I've read a lot of reviews where people say um, they had to do a ton of inletting to get it to fit. It wasn't a drop-in fit, yada, yada. Mine was a drop-in fit, and this is the Savage 110 Tactical with the top bolt release there, you can see. And it actually has this piece that was slotted down in there that you literally just slide out. Um, if you've got a top bolt release, and it has a bottom bolt release catch, I believe, that does nothing on my rifle. But it does work well. Um couple interesting things about this stock the adjustments are awesome let's see it's hard to do with one hand here but you can see that sucking itself in i like it at the furthest i'm 6'2 so i'm a pretty tall guy and let's get the cheek riser adjustment in here you can see that and it goes up quite a ways I do like mine at the highest setting, but you can't get the bolt in and out with the highest setting on, which is the worst part about this. Um, mine was a drop-in fit. This is a Savage 110 Tactical with a preferred barrel um, chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor with a 1 and 8 twist. This is the third barrel that's been on this action. I've got an Athlon Cronus scope on top of the original 20 MOA rail that comes on there. Um, it has nice little palm swells here. Um, they're smaller than I would like, but I've got big old mitts. Um, this right here, this stop is awesome. Um, feels great in your hand. Uh, seven round mag comes with a five round limiter. If you live in non-America stand out in one of the liberal places where you're not allowed to have more than seven rounds in a magazine. Uh, it did free float this barrel. It's a heavy palma contour. You can see it's got just the tiniest bit of clearance on each side. Um, it, it is free floated. It'll slide paper in and out of there, no problem. Uh, vented fore end, you can see right through there. Uh, it came with holes for quick uh, um, detached swivel studs. I don't love them, they're quite wobbly. Um, these did not come with the stock itself, these were sent to me from Amazon. Um, and then I bought another uh, M lock swivel stud mount right there for the bipod. Um, I use a competition bipod, rest, uh, Sinclair F-Class. Now, this is what it did come with. This is the five-round limiter, which is um, utterly useless, garbage. Um, it came with a couple of Allen wrenches. This is the top safety slot. If you don't have a top safety, that'll fit in nicely. Um, came with a seven-round mag, which is excellent. Uh, and I believe, I'll get you a measurement on this here. When I checked last, it was like 2.8 on internal magazine capacity. Let's see, is that zero? Yeah. And get as far as we can. Also difficult to do with one hand here. No, oh, what are we looking at? 2.816. And that's a little off. 2.826. Oh, you can see that's reasonable i did take all seven of these um loads i had done for my um other 6.5 creedmoor those are loaded pretty long and it did take those just fine all seven of them it fed them wonderfully um the magazine pops in there there's a little just the smallest amount of play in there when you actually snug that up with some um rounds in there against the bolt there's almost no play uh, overall first impressions of this stock are, I am amazed. This is a sub $200, um, PRS style, almost a chassis. I wouldn't call it a chassis because it's plastic. They say carbon reinforced polymer, uh, which I think just means plastic, but it is very rigid and an excellent stock, um, for what you get, man. I mean, you just bog down with features. There's a compartment under here. I have filled it with lead shot because this is uh, primarily a bench gun, F-class gun, and uh, I'd like a little heavier to eat up some recoil. Uh, what else? So this is 
a factory box mag remover, I think is what they call that. Um, it does have, come with two action screws. They're the same length. There's one here. There's one up under here. This actual mag catch, the whole assembly pops out. You can see right here is a pin. This whole assembly pops out, and uh, that's where your rear action screw is, up inside there. Um, pillar bedded, and then you slide this back in and you can pin it. I don't love pinning it because you can't access your action screw if something goes wrong at the range and you, you have to get a punch, punch that back out, etc. cetera. Um, truly an awesome stock. So here's one of the QD sling attachments. Here is another one. And there's another one on the other side. Boop. There you go. And I don't know where you would put, it came with this regular sling. I think they called it a UM Uncle Mike's style um, swivel stud. I don't know where that goes. I think there's a vertical spot right up in here that drops down that you could drill out and punch it into there. Um, I opted for the other method of having <clears throat> the ability to put your bipod here or here. This, not a great way to attach your bipod, as you can see. Also, when you pull down on it, if you're using one of the friction style bipods that pulls down, it could pop that right out of there. Uh, so the M-Lock bipod mount was the option for me. Um, really just am super impressed. Haven't shot it yet. Um, I don't expect any negative thing out of shooting it. It should be great. Um, this rifle shoots half him away all day long, um, all the way out. So to a thousand yards. Um, my safety, let me see if I'll pull this back down and throw the bolt in. Give me just one second on that. Oop, that's going up. Not the quickest way to adjust but it does work and it's very gradually available clack 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 you can see the chamber is empty oh i need to do a safety check it's already been done get in there you little bugger savage has this double safety mechanism makes it very hard to do one-handed okay so this is an aftermarket Timney trigger and the rifle is cocked right now. So put it in middle safety, doesn't go. Rear safety doesn't go. Middle safety, you can work the bolt, but and still not fire, which is awesome. And then put it in on um, fire mode and pow. Uh, so this rifle truly is one bad mother. <laughs> I love it. I've gotten really into long range shooting and I'm excited to try the Pro Mag stock out. For all you guys that are looking for a Savage 110 short action Pro Mag, um, there you go. There's all its features. I couldn't find one. That's why I made this video. Could not find a review on the Savage. They had them for Remington and Mosin and Gantz and Ruger 1022s, etc., etc. Um, I'll try and give you all a report back after I take it out to the range tomorrow and see what she does.